And what you need to know on the weather front, setting up to be a much nicer day today. We have our trade winds finally going to be returning. Not too much in terms of sunshine right now, and that's expected to be changing later on as well with more sunshine coming through in the afternoon hours. Now, what we have, taking a look at our Zephyr Cam, you can see a lot of extra cloud cover to start things off. Most of us are waking up to partly to mostly cloudy conditions, but in the coming days, we're going to see a lot more sunshine. Now, taking a look at the satellite imagery, it's showing this morning a week upper level cutoff low that's just to the south of the state with some thunderstorm activity luckily well to the south of us and we're seeing much drier conditions actually over each island. Now we do still have some upper troughing that's lingering over the western islands and because of that some scattered showers are still possible later today but what we have is more stable stratocumulus clouds that are drifting in from the east along with our returning trade winds. So because of that due to the fact that we're seeing the increasing stability that flash flood watch has been dropped by the National Weather Service, so we're not expecting any heavy showers or thunderstorms. And as we play out the future satellite and radar for you, you're going to see uh, much drier, much sunnier conditions in the coming days. And again, with the return of our trade winds, things are going to be feeling much more comfortable. Now, unfortunately, it looks like we have yet another cold front approaching, so our trade's not sticking around for too long. It looks like they could ease off late Sunday and then into Monday. Hopefully, though, trades returning as early as Tuesday, though. But our extended forecast does show trades through up until about Saturday, then we briefly lose them, and then they're back in full force by Tuesday. And again, throughout this whole period as well, a lot more sunshine coming through.